In Mixed Reality, we have two choices. Use controller to track the hand position and interact in the game with the button, or get rid of the controller with hand tracking to get the complete immersive experience. But why not both? That's right, this is the new update on the Meta SDK that I was not expecting. We can now have concurrent hand tracking and controllers on the Meta Quest headset, and this is what I'm going to share with you in this tutorial. We are going to have a look at how to configure it, and also test the new sample scene Meta has released to showcase these new features. As always, if you'd like to support my work, you can join us on Patreon and get access to the source code of all of my tutorials and exclusive content. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are inside a new Unity project that has been set up for the Meta SDK. Now, by the way, the result that you are watching here is actually the result of the two little tutorials that I made here on how to interact with the Meta Interaction SDK. You will find the part one in the description below as well as the part two over there. But now, if I click on play, as you can see in this scene, I can use the controllers, but if I put them down, and tracking is working as well. I can, of course, interact with end tracking in this scene, but I cannot do both, which is hand tracking and controllers simultaneously. And this is what we will fix right now. So let's leave play mode. And there you go. The secret to have the concurrent hand tracking and controller is to go inside the OVR camera rig interaction. Then down below, we have the OVR camera rig and the component that we need is here, the OVR manager. So of course here, the first thing that we want to make sure is down below that we have the hand tracking support for both controllers and hands. So right now the body tracking support is not working with concurrent hand tracking and controllers. So make sure here to set to none, of course. And then what we need is to go on above. And here we have the simultaneous hands and controller enable, and we need to enable it as well. Perfect. Now next down below, here we can launch simultaneous hands and controllers, so we can enable this. And there you go, now everything should be working. So let me repeat, four things that we need, controller and hands on the end tracking support. We need here to set the body tracking to none, above to enable the simultaneous hands and controllers, and then to launch this at the start. And there you go, now this is it, believe it or not, we have already done all of the setup to have concurrent end tracking and controllers. So let's test this by clicking on play. Okay, so right now I can see my controllers. I can still interact with everything. But now let's try to put one controller down. And as you can see already, it works. I can see both my controllers and the end tracking. But the best part is that I can grab something with the controllers and do it as well for the end tracking and everything seems to work together. This is awesome. But the question is, why does it work so well? And we can thanks of course Meta for doing this because if we go under the OVR camera rig, here we have the OVR interaction comprehensive, which contains all of the interactor for our players. And if we go down below, we can see that what they've done is actually separated on the OVR ends and here on the OVR controllers, they have separated the left end, the right end, the left controller and the right controllers. And for each one of them, they've added ends interactor. So the interactor are only linked to one of the ends or one of the controllers. So it doesn't matter if we have two ends or two controllers because everything is working for one. And this is how they can make it work by having separated interactor for each ends or controllers. So anyway, right now we can either show one controllers or one ends and have the two working together, but we cannot show both the controllers and the end tracking at the same time. And this is what I'm going to show you now. So if we go under the OVR camera rig, we can see that under the left end and the right end, we have here the left OVR end and the right OVR end. And as you can see, they contain here this component called OVR end, which has now a new variable called show states and as you can see right now it is set to controllers not in end and which means that the hand tracking will show when the controllers is not in hand but we have other settings that we can do so for example we can say that we always want the end tracking to shows no matter where the controller is we can say that it is showing even if the controller is in end or not 
So in my case, to showcase you this, I'm going to keep this OVR end for the right OVR end and left OVR end to controllers not in N, which means that the end tracking will not work when we will have controllers in our end. But if I go under the OVR interaction comprehensive, there under the OVR controllers, I can go down below and I can see here under the OVR controller visual for both, we have here an OVR controller prefab. And as you can see, we have here the same settings. Now, in my case, I want to show the controller always, no matter if it's in our end. So I'm going to click here and set it to always. And then do the same for the right controllers. And this way, the OVR controller should appear all the time. So let's see how this looks by clicking on play. Okay, so as you can see right now, the controllers are showing, but now let me put them down. And as you can see, end tracking is showing as well. But as you can see, the controllers didn't disappear because we have set them to always appearing, which is awesome. This way, as you can see, if I put them here by their little string, I can always show both the end tracking and my controllers. Everything is tracked, everything is working great. And as you can see, all of the interaction are still working for them which is awesome. And this is how you can set up concurrent end tracking and controllers in your scene very easily and control the show state of each of them. Now, another great thing that Meta has done for this setup is that if we go to samples, then to the Meta XR interaction toolkit, the version that you have and the example scene, as you can see, we can click here on the concurrent end controllers example. There you go. And this will show you a very, very cool interaction that Meta has done with here, this ping pong table and this link shot which i think is amazing and is already a really cool interaction so feel free to play with it and test it on your own to see what kind of great games you can build with this nice feature and there you go guys having concurrent hand tracking and controller is as simple as this don't hesitate to try the demo for yourself and i hope that you enjoyed this video big shout out to the new people that join us on patreon which are appearing on the screen right now you guys are amazing thank you for watching see you soon bye bye